हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दी कॉफी विद कॉन्सेप्ट विद संजय राठी इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एनालॉग दैट इज कॉमन एमिटर विद एमिटर रेजिस्टेंस आर यू बाईपास और अन बाईपास यू विल गेट आइडिया हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन डीसी एनालिसिस एंड ए सी एनालिसिस ऑफ कॉमन एमिटर विद आर यू दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक ई ए सी a gate isro drdo bar and it is important for electronics electrical and instrumentation branch now i think you are ready then first of all my introduction myself sanjay rati ex ies and i am having around 22 years of teaching experience i have tra trained more than 1 lakh students for this competitive exams and i have qualified and selected for engineering services exam these are my ranks air 16 in esc 2005 air 21 in esc 2008 then what is common emitter with re there are two important diagrams common emitter with unbypassed resistor re what is the role of re here re introduces negative feedback to transistor means when we are connecting re then there will be negative feedback and because of this negative feedback gain will be stable we will derive the formula for gain then this is re is connected here rc is connected here rl is connected here these are called coupling capacitors cc1 and cc2 supply voltage is vcc and here this is the signal vs at its internal resistance rs now this is called unbypassed re second important diagram common emitter with bypassed resistor re So when we are connecting capacitor parallel to RE, then it is called bypassed RE. Now there is no negative feedback because of RE during AC analysis. Okay, so that is the capacitor will short circuit the RE. The value of CC one, CC two, and C is very very large. Remember one thing: capacitor act as open circuit during DC analysis. and these all capacitor will act as short circuit during ac analysis now first of all to solve the question based on common emitter with re or ac analysis first we have to find re small re that is and this is given by vt by ieq where vt is called volt equivalent of temperature and ieq is the dc biasing current that is emitter current okay then first of all common emitter with unbypassed resistor r if this diagram is given okay then how we can find the voltage gain that is called v not by vs now what this diagram this rc is connected vcc is connected here capacitor is connected v not and that is r unbypassed first of all during ac analysis this capacitor will act as short circuit second all dc sources all dc sources tends to zero means this vcc will be zero and that's why this point is connected to ground here we are giving the input that is called vs now this is called small signal model alpha i this is re this is emitter terminal this is collector terminal and that is what base terminal on base terminal we are giving the vs and here we are connecting rc from collector to what ground this is visible to you collector to ground we are connecting the rc guys okay now this point is base here we are connecting the input vs this is rc and this is re this capacitor will act as short circuit very simple model alpha i re and so on when beta is very large base current is nearly equal to zero so same emitter current will pass here and when the beta is very very large then alpha is nearly equal to what one then it's that's why it will become i so what is the current in reverse direction minus alpha i now that is the diagram then how to solve if voltage gain is required that is called v not by vs then simply you can write v not is equal to minus alpha i into rc 
upon Vs. What is the Vs? That is connected in parallel. IE into what? RE plus capital RE. This is internal resistance of the transistor Vt by IEQ and that is the external resistor that is called emitter resistance unbypassed and that's why this formula will become. Now this IE, this IE cancel out and then alpha is nearly equal to 1 because beta is very very large. Therefore, the voltage gain will become minus RC upon small RE plus capital RE. Minus means there is a 180 degree phase shift. Now this capital RE is very very greater than small RE and that's why the approximate answer is what minus RC by RE. Minus RC by RE. Now guys, this formula minus RC by RE is independent of transistor parameter like small RE. Okay, and because of that, this gain is what highly stable. This gain is highly stable. RC is stable, RE is stable and that is gain is stable. And that is because of negative feedback across RE. So remember this formula. So guys, this is an important diagram. RC unbypassed RE. Small RE is equal to VT by IEQ and voltage gain is nearly equal to minus RC by RE. Or if you want some exact answer then you can also use this formula minus RC upon small RE plus capital RE. Normally capital small RE is very very less as compared to RE. If they are comparable then always you have to use this formula. Okay. Now second diagram. In the second diagram again it is unbypassed register RE but here we are connecting the RL. Simply we are connecting the RL. Now, when we are connecting the RL, this capacitor will act as short circuit, VCC will act as short circuit. Again, similar diagram, everything will remain same. Simply, we have to place RL parallel with RC. What is the change in the answer? In the place of RC, you have to use the RL dash. What is the RL dash? RL dash or RC dash is nothing but RC parallel with the RL. RC parallel with the RL. Then voltage gain will become minus alpha i RL dash, where RL dash is RC parallel with RL. Small i, this is the i, small re plus re, small re plus re. Everything will remain same. Again, alpha is nearly equal to 1. Then it, this formula will become minus RL dash upon this re plus re. And finally, if this capital R is very, very greater than this small re, then that is the formula, guys. So remember this formula, you can find the voltage gain for unbypassed RE. These are the two important diagrams. Now, in case of, that is, you can revise all this formula from this table. That is the V0 by Vs minus RP parallel with RL, small RE plus capital RE. Now, simply we are connecting a capacitor parallel to RE. Okay. Once the capacitor is connected, during AC analysis, all the capacitor will act as short circuit. This capacitor will act as short circuit. This capacitor will act as short circuit. Means it will short circuit the RE. There will be no RE. Simply get the small signal model, alpha I, small RE. This emitter is connected to ground. At the base, we are giving the VS. At the collector, we are connecting the RC. Because VCC tends to zero during AC analysis. Now that is the small signal model. From a small signal model, V0 by Vs. Again, what is the current here? Minus alpha IE. That's why V0 will become minus alpha IE into RC and Vs will become IE into RE. IE, IE cancel and alpha is nearly equal to 1 because the beta is very, very large. And that's why the gain is what? Minus RC by small RE. Here, no role of capital R. Okay. So that is the formula. Very, very important one. Then next one, fourth diagram, it is bypassed, but we are connecting a RL at the output. When we are connecting the RL, this capacitor will act as short circuit. VCC tends towards zero. So collector to ground RC is connected. Corrector to ground RL is connected. Means RC and RL are in parallel. This is the small signal model, alpha i, small r e. Here we are connecting the Vs. Rc and Rl are in parallel. So this is normally called Rc dash or Rl dash. It will become Rc parallel with Rl, V0. 
then v naught will become minus minus alpha i rc parallel with the rl so that is the avs v naught by vs minus alpha i rl dash upon i re that is the vs same in all the diagram then minus rl dash upon r you have to put the negative sign here because it is a 180 degree phase shift so what is the final answer minus rc parallel with rl upon small r e okay this is the fourth diagram now we will solve this question so that you will get the confidence how to solve the question in a gate exam and in other competitive exam because this is a very very important diagram in the following transistor circuit vbe is given as 0.7 small re that is the internal resistance of the transistor 25 millivolt upon i this 25 millivolt is nothing but value of vt that is called volt equivalent of temperature and beta and all the capacitances are very very large means beta is large means what is the alpha alpha will become one when the capacitances are large means during ac analysis they will act as what short circuit and during dc analysis they will act as open circuit this capacitor and this is the capacitor and that is the capacitor first question is the value of dc current i e when we want to find the dc current then this capacitor will act as open circuit when this capacitor will act as open circuit this capacitor will act as open circuit this capacitor will act as open circuit then finally we will get this type of diagram this type of diagram here it is a rc this is called r1 this is called r2 now here it is a 9 volt battery that is called vcc that is given in the diagram 9 volt battery 20 and 10 kilo ohm resistor this is the 20 kilo ohm this is the 10 kilo ohm resistor and this is the re means during ac a dc analysis re is present now how to solve this question simply we have to apply the thevenin's here when we are applying the thevenin's this is r1 this is r2 and then what is the voltage at this point the vth is given by r2 upon r1 plus r2 into vcc and the thevenin's resistance will become r1 parallel with r2 because when we want to find the thevenin's resistance you have to make the vcc is equal to 0 then r1 and r2 are in parallel rth will become r1 parallel with r2 okay once you find the vth and rth across the base and the neutral this is the point then you can apply this complete circuit this is rth this is vth now you can connect the circuit this is re and this is rc and this is called vbe now what is the thevenin's voltage because it is a 20 it is a 10 it is a 9 you can say 10 divided by 10 plus 20 into 9 that is nothing but 3 volt and no need to find the rth because beta is very large therefore the base current is zero then directly you can find the emitter current this is nothing but 2.3 kilo ohm write down the kvl here when i am writing the kvl here it will become 3 is equal to value of vb 0.7 plus ie into 2.3 and you will get ie is equal to 3 minus 0.7 upon 2.3 that is nothing but 1 milli ampere what is the value 1 milli ampere so this is the value 1 milli ampere guys so this is the answer okay now to the for dc analysis you have to consider the vcc all the capacitor will act as open circuit and during dc analysis re will provide the negative feedback and this type of circuit is called self biased circuit this is the circuit called self biased circuit in coming session i will give you the detail about the self biased circuit guys okay then next one next question is in the following transistor circuit if vb is 0.7 volt 
R is same 25 millivolt per millivolt by divided by I and beta and all the capacitances are very large mid band voltage gain of the amplifier. If this is asked mid band voltage gain, remember guys you have to apply the small signal model and you have to solve the question. But during exam already I have given you the four figures. Already I have given you all the shortcuts. Then remember this capacitor will act as short circuit. This capacitor will act as short circuit. VCC tends to zero during AC analysis. And this capacitor will act as short circuit means RE is bypassed. Now here we are giving the input. This is the input. Vs. And here we are taking the output. And you have to find the mid band voltage gain V0 by Vs. Then very already I have given this is RC. And this is R. It is bypassed. If it is bypassed, then answer is simple minus RC parallel with RL upon small RE. So that is the model, guys. Try to understand. This is the model. Here, Vs is connected. What is the voltage at this point? IE into RE. Similarly, RC parallel with the RL minus alpha IE. Then again, we are getting the minus alpha IE RL dash upon IE RE. But some student will ask, sir, what about the R1 and R2. Try to understand this is the base terminal. When we are making the VCC is equal to 0, from base to this point, R1 is connected, from base to ground, R2 is connected. Again, it is a ground, it is a ground, and that's why R1 and R2 are in parallel. Suppose I am connecting the R1 parallel with R2, from base to ground, again, the Vs will remain same, IE into RE. And that's why, this formula is valid. And what is the formula? Minus RL dash upon RE. Directly you can use means minus RC parallel with RL upon RE. Remember RE is equal to 25 divided by 1 that is given in the numerical VT and IE already we have calculated 25 ohm. RC parallel with RL value of RC 3 kilo ohm 3 kilo ohm. Then it will become 3 parallel with the 3 divided by 25, you have to convert it into what? Kilo ohm to ohm. 1.5 kilo ohm multiplied with the 1000 divided by 25 with negative sign and you will get the answer minus 60. You will get the answer that is what? Minus 60. Check my calculation also. This is the answer mid band voltage gain. So, within 30 seconds you can get the answer for this type of questions. Please revise all the four diagrams. This is a very very important one for all competitive exams guys. Now this is about the question and this is our result in gate 2023. 62 under 50, 13 students under AIR 10 and 107 ranks under AIR 100. And you can also give the same result guys or better than that okay but remember gate and other competitive exams are based on what concepts to so clear your concepts with us then thank you for attending the session you are on byju's exam prep subscribe our channel like the session and share the link of this session thank you and good luck for all coming exams